Hello guys, have you ever tried to make your code shorter? Of course you have, everyone has, everyone likes shorter code, until it's too short to be readable. So today I want to show you a practical example of two optimizations for code to be shorter, which leads to pretty massive one-liner which is impossible to read. So here's on the screen you have if-else operation, which is too long and you can shorter that to ternary operator, right? Because it's the same result. So you can shorter that to this result equals this condition. We copy that here, then question mark, otherwise null. And of course my font is huge, so it's not really a one-liner, but if I make the font pretty normal, this is one-liner, which looks fine and still pretty readable. Another example is from filament with short closures for callback functions in PHP. Pretty typical in filament, it is to have a callback function as a parameter that returns boolean, for example. Hidden input on what condition? When get company is not set. Another example, visible if get company is set. Another example, required if something is filled. So instead of doing function, curly braces, and new line, we do that on one line. But what if we combine two of those optimizations in one big optimization? Here's the code I saw in one of filament project, this. Text input, after state updated, we set the slug, which looks like this. Function with parameters, but short closure, and then if operation create, we set, otherwise null. So this results in a line being too long, even after the recommended line length according to the code styles, which is from what I remember, 80 characters, or was it 120? I don't remember exactly. It's a recommendation, it's not a requirement. But basically, you have to scroll. A developer needs to scroll the page horizontally to understand what that does. And when they do understand, they need to go back and see what the function was in the first place. So sometimes I see developers trying to get to one liner to one line of code and sacrifice the horizontal readability. So in this case, my recommendation would be to not use short closures, but instead use a proper function, then this, then on new line, a proper return, and then like this. I think that's the syntax, no. That's another sign. Yeah, so this should be the one. This is much more readable. That ternary operator is actually okay if it's on a separate line. I don't know. What do you think? Would you have done something differently here? Share your opinions in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.